Hi, my name is Sydney, and this is my friend Ching. Um, she speaks three languages, and so I'm just going to be asking her questions and interviewing her about those languages. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so the first question is, can you tell me about your native language? My native language can include two. One is Mandarin, the other one is Cantonese. Cantonese is my mother tongue. Mandarin is I learned it from school. You want me to speak some Mandarin? Yeah. Ni hao ma? Then you answer, wo hen hao. Ni na? Means, I'm, how are you? I'm fine. How about you? See, this is the conversation uh -huh. start with uh, friends. Mm -hmm. Because of uh, Mandarin, is the whole world most of the Chinese speak Mandarin mm -hmm. they learn from school the native dialogue is Cantonese Hokkanese so but my mother tongue is Cantonese so I speak quite fluently on both languages okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, so how did you acquire another language um, I have not much problem with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when when I was four grader, mm -hmm. we learned English. Mm -hmm. So we we not speak much, but we have to learn A B C. Mm -hmm. I have to spell, have to write. So in fifth grader, we have to learn grandma, <laughs> grandma. So that is a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So I uh, actually I in sixth grade uh, we had to take a test mm -hmm. see whether we can pass and then go to middle school. Oh okay. Yes. In English. In English. Okay. Yeah. All so language. Did you get to practice speaking English like outside of the class, or was it only at school you got to speak English? Um, depend on your family. Mm -hmm. My family because my sister go. English school. Mm -hmm. I and my other sister spread, uh, go to Chinese school. Okay. So we know both language. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, and what domains do you use each of your languages? So in what different places do you use um, each of the languages that you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Depend on face to your friends, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, I come to this country, I have to learn English well can speak and can write mm -hmm. because if I not learning so I am behind I cannot uh, survive so I learn very hard on English speak to a lot of people mm -hmm. I try to learn watch TV program a lot mm -hmm. that in uh, the mother tongue is speak with my husband okay. I speak mother tongue with my children too when they were young. When they were young? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so would you consider yourself to be fluent in all three languages that you know, or just proficient in some of them? I think I'm fluent. Fluent in all yes. of them? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, when, if ever, do you find yourself code switching, or going back and forth between two languages? Uh, okay, i give you an example. Mm -hmm. When I talk to my sister, mm -hmm. they are English educated. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have some Chinese word is they don't understand. So I have to think, oh, Chinese translate to English is this word. So I, mm -hmm. yeah, that is the way I explain it to them. Okay. Yeah, same thing as I don't know the English word, I call my sister, explain to them, they give me English word. Okay. Yeah. Um, how did your experiences and upbringings influence um, your use of each language? So I know that you learned or started learning English in the fourth grade, but how did um, your other like experiences of growing up help you um, learn these languages? Okay, when I growing up, <laughs> I say that we we get together with a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. That's when we learn our English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, so 
English is most important, mm -hmm. so we like to learn a lot of English. Mm -hmm. My mom always say that, why right? my mom send our sister and they, she break out two groups. One group study Chinese, one group speak English. Mm -hmm. And her, her thought is, if something happened, we know the whole world. Mm -hmm. So that is she brought us to mm -hmm. learn the language, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 So you have a lot of practice. Yes. Um, what language do you speak most often? Often, and which language do you think is most important, like to learn today in today's society? Today's society is English, mm -hmm. because I live in the United States. Mm -hmm. When I go back to Asia, when I go to Taiwan, I speak Mandarin. Mm -hmm. When I go to uh, China speak Mandarin because the whole country, China, everybody speak Mandarin. Mm -hmm. Go to Malaysia, I speak dialect, a lot of dialect with a different group. Okay, yeah. So do you find yourself speaking mostly English then or do you find yourself speaking mostly um, English? Mostly English. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, so did your children acquire your native languages or did they learn your secondary language growing up, like English? English is their ma you know, major. Mm -hmm. Secondary is, I think, is Chinese. It's Chinese. Yeah, I speak Chinese with them, but how much they can, they can speak, they are not much. Mm -hmm. They shine to speak. Mm -hmm. So they speak mostly English, English. Like, to their families and um, to you, they still speak English? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, can you tell me about the tests that you had to take to obtain your degrees and then um, like what languages were they in and like which one did you think was the hardest? Very interesting. Myself, mm -hmm. I like to take signs in English mm -hmm. when I come, uh, come to this country. I take science class mm -hmm. a lot because science have easier for me because the only formula like math and formula and uh -huh. universal, you can just okay. You know the do you know the answer? Easy yeah, to get the answer. Yeah. If English, okay, you have to use a lot of word mm -hmm. to write down one meaning. So you have to learn a lot. Mm -hmm. But if I don't understand this, I have to go to the dictionary. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I told you that I like to. Fill in the blank, no problem. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so fill in the blank, um, she said, was easier instead of just like multiple choice. Yes. She makes multiple choices. Yeah, that one is harder. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, can you explain again why you think that the multiple choice is harder than filling in the blank? Yeah, because most of them are different meaning. And mm -hmm. I don't know this word. What is this word? Can go in here? Mm -hmm. Could go in this? Or that word, you know, like if I have the choices, <coughs> four choices, four meaning. Mm -hmm. For me, I, if I don't understand one of them, so I miss the answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. And then um, the last question: uh, Which language do you think was the hardest to acquire? Uh, for me, it's no, no different. No different. Because I, uh, I very pay attention. Mm -hmm. When you talk to people, mm -hmm. you know, but if I don't understand, even though go to the doctor, I don't understand it, would you mind to write it down for me? Mm -hmm. I can go home and find dictionary, okay. what is the meaning? Yeah. See. And then once you look it up in the dictionary, can you retain it and remember it really well? Or is it something you have to go back and always like, use the dictionary? Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can remember. You do remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sometimes, you want me to tell you the secret? Yeah. Pronunciation sometimes is hard, right? Uh -huh. So I write Chinese to pronounce it. <laughs> so pronounce yeah, it a little bit different. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, I have to remember. Yeah. Yes, yes. So is there anything else you want to include or tell me about any of your three languages? Uh, you want me to make an example of the three languages? Sure. Okay, so Chinese always asks, no matter where I'm from, my country, uh, my mother, my family, they always ask, uh, do you have your dinner yet? This is means is, you know, hard to, 
very bring out your heart to talk to people. People always, 你吃饭了吗? That means you, you, do you have dinner yet? Always ask. This is your family. This is the language. People always ask. Here, you say, how do you do? You know, it's different. Yeah. That is a different thing. Yeah. So the Chinese always say, do you eat? Do you fat? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that is all the questions that I have. Unless you are doing anything else. Oh, well, I enjoy to speak with you. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Me too. Good. Thank you. Yeah, I learned from you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, is there any questions?